What's up guys? On today's video I'm doing a product spotlight. It's going to be on the Fritz Zyme 7. This is a live bacteria. Um, I recommend this when like trying to start up a new tank. You can put some bacteria in it right away. As long as there's something for the bacteria to actually eat on. If you just dump this into a tank with water and there's um, nothing decaying as far as like fish food in there. Um, if there's no ammonia, this is not going to last long. But I have the perfect test that I came up with this idea about a week ago. Um, I use this in my fish room on the import rack. After I get done treating any antibacterial infections, I dose live bacteria just in case the medications wiped out any kind of beneficial bacteria in that tank. Um, I don't know if it does or not, but as a precaution, I add bacteria after I'm done doing my medications. Um, this product is the best I've found so far. And the way I'm testing this to show you guys its effectiveness is this 10 gallon bow front is a ram horn um, snail tank. It's a ram's horn snail tank. It's all it's in it. There's no air on the tank. There's no filter. It is, I will say lightly planted. It's got a couple of nubious plants. They're slow growing. So they're not going to be pulling a ton of nitrates out of the water. And there's only gravel in the bottom to house any kind of beneficial bacteria. So about a week ago, I started overdosing the food heavily. Um, I wanted it to do an algae, or not an algae bloom, but bacteria bloom. Um, last night, the bloom went into full effect. The water turned cloudy. Um, that's basically the bacteria saying, hey, I don't have enough um, buddies here to help me remove the ammonia from all that extra food um, decomposing. I need more bacteria, and it, it created a, a bloom in the tank. That's what the white water is. Um, so to start this off with, I just did a 50% water change, and that's to try to get some of that bacteria out. Normally, if, if you aren't treating it with bacteria, um, I pulling all that um, bloom out is actually not going to help you because you're reducing the amount of bacteria that's in the water trying to compensate for that extra waste. So this is... This is really bad. It's not just tinted, it's pretty foggy. So it's a pretty big bloom. And the specs on this, uh, for a new system, it's four ounces per 10 gallons. And for established tanks, it's only two ounces. I'm going to treat this as an emergency, let's get some live bacteria in there. And we're going to see how long it takes to help um, balance this tank back out, if it takes two days if it takes five days i'm going to record the progress and that way you guys can see this in action so today is a thursday and we're going to get started so i'm gonna go ahead and dump this in all right so you can measure this out i like just dumping a bunch in um you can't really go overboard with this live bacteria but you could technically go too light so i'm gonna just show you it's kind of a pink in color You can see it in the water column. And I'm going to let this do its magic. And um, I will update you guys. And I'll tell you how long it's been. Um, today's Thursday. And we'll see if this is fixed by this weekend or if it takes longer. But we'll let this thing uh, start to go to work. All right, guys. It's been 24 hours since I've added the live bacteria. And um, substantially big improvement i obviously I, I gotta look at the video from yesterday but just when i i just got home from work and i walked in and i'm like all right so the cloudiness has gone way down um right now it's just kind of like a little bit of a, a foggy look to it and um so it's definitely working and i could wait a few days and then dose some more just to make sure i got extra bacteria in there but i'm going to let this sit for another day and see if it improves even further and I always like running filters in all my tanks. This tank, it's just ram's horn snails, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, but now that the bacteria is working, um, I can see that the all the ram's horns have been going nuts. I just gravel vacked this yesterday, and there's poop everywhere. So um, they're going to town, eating everything. So they're uh, the leaves of the Nubius were real covered in this um, kind of like white film and looks like they've cleaned them off pretty well. So that's probably why there's so much extra um, detritus on the 
gravel. So I'll go through, vacuum all that up. Um, so that way we're not continuing, continuing to add to the ammonia um, in the tank. So we'll uh, keep this little experiment going and I'll see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, guys, it's been just under 48 hours. It's been, let's say, uh, 46 hours. The tank is fairly clear now. Um, it's a bow front, so it kind of gets this weird um, distortion to it. But it's not perfectly clear, but it's pretty clear. So I just want to show you that the Fritz Zyme 7 actually does work. It's a live um, nitrifying bacteria, and it helps remove ammonia. And that algae bloom, I'm, I'm sorry, not algae bloom, bacteria bloom is gone. Um, so now will be the time for me to do a water change. Um, there's a lot of detritus on the bottom now from all the snails um, taking care of all the, the plants and decoration. And uh, they pooped a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and gravel vac that out and um that should really clear up the water i will once i get done gravel vacuuming and doing the water top off i'll add a little bit more of the live bacteria just in case i take any of it out through the gravel vac but it should be pretty well seeded but um i think this was a good video to show you the product actually working and no way i can't think of any better way to show but a bacteria bloom and I haven't done anything to this tank other than add the bacteria into it. So that's, I think, a really good video. So let me know what you guys think. And if you like these kind of product spotlight videos, um, I, I plan on doing more. So um, thank you guys for watching. And um, keep tanking along. See you guys.